hello everyone welcome back to our wonderful channel thank you all for always stopping by in today's video i want to share with us five things you should stop doing if you want to succeed in this 2024 five bad attitude that can deprive you of your blessings that can bring setback stagnation to your life the first one of it is stop thinking negatively some of you are fond of thinking negatively. Some of you, what you think is, what if I die today? What if I die tomorrow? What if I don't get the money? You are not always positive. Your thinking is always the opposite of whatever you want to do. You want to start a business. The first thought is, I don't think I'm going to make it in this business. I think my money, Amrobas, is going to snatch it from me. I think I'm going to have problems along the line. You are being negative. And negativity has a way of weighing people down. So always be positive whenever you want to start up something. Be positive within yourself. Say, say to myself, hit your chest that I can do this. If Mr. A can do this, that means I will go through trauma. I can do it. That should be your way of motivating yourself. Not, hey, I don't think I can do it though. In my family, I don't, people don't succeed. I don't think I'm going to succeed. If every member of your family does not succeed, you, you can be that person that will bring success to that family. Say, I, so, so, come and show your name. I, Ugo Chichoma, I must succeed. If everybody fails, I must succeed. That is the way you should encourage yourself, not the other way around. So, number two is, Always be positive in everything you're doing. In all your thinking, let positivity overweigh the negative part of you. Even if you know that there, there may be ups and downs in that process of that thing you want to do, always have this affirmation that if other people have failed, I will succeed. If this thing does not work for people, I will be the first one to work for. Have that strong affirmation within you. Have a very strong spirit. Put it up into God in prayer to help you stand positive in everything you are doing. Even when you want to give up, encourage yourself. Tell God to always stand by your side. Tell God to always be there to direct you. And everything you are doing, be positive. Allow God to take premium control by welcoming, by welcoming him into that business or into that thing you are doing some of you don't involve god in anything you're doing you feel you can do everything yourself you feel god don't exist so whenever you're doing anything tell god god as i'm leaving my house today i want you to be in charge i want you to be my director without you i cannot do this i am being positive today because i know you are with me i am being positive today because i know you are going to answer my prayers i know you are going to change my story i know you are going to make this thing happen the way i have planned it that is the way to go about this 2024 and by the grace of god you must achieve that which others have not been achieving in your family in your generation in your kindred okay number three is practice the, the gratitude and appreciation method always be thankful some of you, when somebody helps you to achieve something, you find it difficult to appreciate that person. Tell me what will motivate the person to help you more. Take for instance, somebody helped you and introduced you to a business and the business is moving. You cannot even take up your phone and say, oh, sir, madam, auntie, brother, Mr. This, Ms. Mrs. This, thank you for the business to introduce me to. It's really paying. I appreciate you. Even if you don't give a physical present, only that thought alone, only that call alone can make the person know that you are really, really grateful. Some of you will not even thank God for the gifts he has given to you or the things he has done for you. Somebody bought a car, I was like, wow, congrats, you say this is not even my dream car. That means the person is not being appreciative to what God has done for him. So if God has given you a smaller car today, tomorrow he may bless you with a bigger one. So always be grateful, always appreciate both human and God. If God gives you life today, appreciate him. Some of you will come and tell me things are not working well for me. I just feel like dying, but you are alive. You're not in oxygen, you're not in the hospital. So that is enough to thank God. 
Say, God, thank you for giving me life today. And I pray that I will be alive to make it and enjoy all the blessings ahead of me. When you say prayers like this, it motivates God to bless you. God will say that. That means this person, I've not even given him anything. And he or she is appreciating me, always being thankful for only life. What if I bless this person with money? That means the, this person is going to bless so many people, is going to keep appreciating me. That is how the laws of universe work. Law of attraction, that is how it works. Always be appreciative to the universe. Always appreciate God. Always appreciate people that led you to the top. Some of you, your uncles will give you a job. You won't even go to, when you hear that he's around, you won't even go to greet. You feel that you are not in the same level with him or her. You don't show appreciation. Please always appreciate people and show sign of gratitude to people that helped you. The number four is spend time with positive people. This is very, very important. That is the way most of you come to my WhatsApp with a lot of negative energies. I block you. I don't associate myself with people with negativity. I keep saying it. Your negativity can scatter my own positive energy. So the best bet is avoid such person. There are some people you go to them and say, oh, I want to start this business. They will laugh at you and mock you and say, this business is too local for you. The person encouraging you is somebody that doesn't even have money. And when, or if, if the person is wealthy, if you go to him for financial help, he will not help you. But he's discouraging you from starting a little business that can at least put food on your table. While if you go to another person, the person will encourage you, say, wow, start little and by the grace of God, when you raise money, you can start another business or you can enlarge that business. These are the people you should associate yourself with. Not people that will make mockery of the little things you are doing. I know most of you, when you see people that are not properly dressed, you start mocking at them, calling them poor. It's of you to encourage that person, say that for you to wear this local clothes today, tomorrow God will bless you with a bigger cloth. And in such way, you are being encouraging, you are encouraging that person to work harder to be able to wear a better cloth. That is what I should you're supposed to be and that these are the people you should be around not people with you know pride people that can discourage you at the end of the day you have nothing so the last but not the least is focus on the solution to your problems if you focus on getting solutions to your problems believe me those problems will no will no longer be there don't always talk about the problem say oh i'm having headache what can I do to stop this headache? Not this headache have come again. This headache have come again. No, you've not gotten the solution to that headache. That is why it keeps recurring. If you are poor today, what is the solution to end that poverty? Or are you comfortable being poor? This is a food for thought. So think about all these five points I mentioned. Digest them and look for a way to absorb them and put them into practice. And by the grace of God, 2024 will be very great for every one of us. Thank you for watching and see you in my next one. Bye-bye.